Welcome back. A lady of the Kamal High School in Kuturi will celebrate their 50 years on 28 January. The school management has planned various events on this day. A lady of Carmel High School in Kurtori has completed 50 years. They have chalked out a plan of four-day event in the school as a part of the celebration. President of Diocesan Society of Education, Father Avinash Rebello, will grace the function. Actually, it is supposed to be last year because it was started in 1961. Uh, uh, but it is registered uh, in 1962, so we are celebrating this year. And the uh, inaugural day is on 28th of this month. We will start by Eucharistic celebration. Then the whole year program we have chalked out. A reporter from Madgaon, Savio Dias. And now news from sports. The race for 2011-12 I-League is wide open. This campaign is proving to be a very exciting and unpredictable title race for the recent times. As many as eight teams out of the 14-team league seem to be in with a chance to clinch the prestigious title. India coach Savio Madeira and coach of Selgaonkar Sports Club Karim Bancharifa believe that close competition in the league is a healthy sign for Indian football. Top position Dempo Sports Club, who have also suffered unexpected defeats this time, and 8th place Sporting Club de Goa are separated by just 13 points. With 10 matches remaining in the campaign, the league could be anybody's from the top 8 teams. For neutrals, this is wonderful as the I-League is turning out to be an entertaining affair. Football will be the ultimate winner as more and more clubs are taking the league seriously, says India coach Savio Madeira. Every year the I-League gets tougher. The teams are preparing well and this shows that uh, the clubs are taking seriously the I-League, they are preparing well and it helps the Indian football to go further a lot because the moment the club starts preparing that and uh, that gives uh, added advantage for the coach, for the national team, whoever it may be, to have a good national team. So the growth is growing and it's a healthy sign for Indian football to go forward. Salgaonkar coach Karim Ben Sharifa, who masterminded his team's triumph against all odds last season, is wary of their rivals. Uh, but what is special in this uh, season is that I think about seven uh, or eight teams are having an outside chance to, to be there. Uh, Pune, Prayag, uh, uh, even Sporting coming up. So about eight teams, uh, you, you can't predict. So this is uh, uh, augering well for Indian football? It's healthy. I think it's very healthy. With big games coming up over the weekend at Fatorda, the results from these can be defining moments of the I-League. Bureau Report, Prudent Media. Our Lady of Rosary High School from Navali defeated Kolkata's LV High School to win the All India Inter School Football Tournament recently. The tournament was held in Kerala. Rosary have managed to win the Mar Antanasio's trophy for the first time in five attempts. Thus, the young players have reinforced Goa's image as the powerhouse in national football. The winners arrived at Madgaon Railway Station to a warm welcome. The Rosary boys looked jubilant as they had emerged champions after a hard-fought match against the Kolkata outfit. Coach Oswald de Costa was delighted. Participating in this tournament for the past five years, and uh, this is our fifth uh, 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 year, and uh, we reached twice the final. And this time we defeated the same team which we lost in the first year when we participated. All this year, it was a team effort which uh, uh, gave us the victory. All the boys played well, each one played to their plan, although we had a very tough opposition in the team of Bengal. Our reporter from Madgaon, Savio Dice. Log on to www.prudentmedia.in if you have missed our bulletin. You can also follow us on Twitter by following us at Prudent Goa to get latest news as and when they happen. Meet us on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash prudentmedia. Rich heritage, culture and tradition of the nation was at display at Rajpath in Delhi on the 63rd Republic Day of India. Kashmir, West Bengal... Assam, Meghalaya and, of course, Goa were showcased in New Delhi. For the first time, Election Commission's float was a part of the parade. Impressive display of armour and unmanned aerial vehicles attracted a huge crowd at the Rajpath. And with this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Prudent Media. Goodbye. Sport, sport.
अब हम मातृभूमि के काम आए मात्र एक मत भी दे सकता है संस्कार एक मात्र एक मत भी दे 